Jazakallah. We're going to take a, a question from Brother Hadil from Jordan. And uh, his question uh, is really tied into Hajj, actually. He says, basically, how could you give me some examples on, and tell me really the main difference between a strong believer and a weak believer. And the example he's saying is that how would you give us some um, benefit? How would he encourage us to change ourselves to being these strong believers? Of course, there is a hadith which is a straightforward hadith in that regard. The Prophet ﷺ says mm -hmm. that al mu'min al qawi khayrun wa ahabu ila Allah min al mu'min al daif wa fi kulli khayr. He says that a strong believer is better and more dearer to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala than a weak one. Yet they are all good, but we are talking about superiority mm -hmm. as a mean of uh, nearness to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, being better before Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and in the sight of Allah the Almighty. Uh, strong in what? Strength here refers to the strength in belief, in religious practice, uh, strength of uh, financial strength, mm -hmm. uh, physical strength, mental strength. When a person is 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 physically uh, powerful when a person is capable to do things when a person is striving hard he is fulfilling uh, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordained upon him of the ibadat he is very strong when it comes to offering salatul fajr or the night prayer but he goes to work in the morning and he makes money and he gives in a charity this is a strong believer a shaitan finds it very difficult to overcome such a strong believer not only that and he comes as the Prophet ﷺ says, وَالْيَدُ الْعُلِيَ خَيْرٌ مِّنَ الْيَدِ السُّفْلَةِ وَبْدَأْ بِمِنْ تَعُولِ Indicating that the upper hand is superior and better before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the lower one. This is a wonderful metaphor. The Prophet ﷺ is referring to the hand which gives in a charity versus the hand which takes the poor, the beggar, the miskeen. So of course, before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who gives mm -hmm. is superior to the one who takes. And this is an invitation from, from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa not just to settle down and uh, be satisfied with what people give you of the remains of the leftover or charity, but you have to work and work hard so that to be not only satisfied and self-sufficient, but to be rich to give those who are in need. It's an invitation to be uh, proactive. It's a motivation, prophetic motivation to be powerful and strong in every mean. Of course, while performing Hajj and while performing Umrah, that would require physical ability. Those who are able to perform Tawaf and those who are able to do Sa'i would find it very easy, much accessible than those who uh, are complaining, have uh, knee problems, those who cannot walk, handicapped, mm. and so on. But we also are required to assist and help those who cannot uh, walk on foot or those who find it difficult to walk. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us this power as a mean of test, to test us whether we're going to be thankful and grateful to Allah or not, and whether to use, we're going to use this power in helping and assisting others or not. Jazakallah.